We recording. That's what I expected. What's up my retro renegades? I am doing a special episode. This episode is actually a response video to Pixel Game Squad. They recently did a video. I mean, he's been doing one like every like 17 minutes. So it's really hard to catch up. So thanks a lot, Riff. I appreciate that. Slow it down. Jeez. What I'm trying to say is this is a video response to one of his Squadcast videos where he asked uh, what are the top five things that you would keep in your collection? I'm gonna cheat as I do on these types of challenge slash requests videos. It's really hard for me and I just recently did a challenge where I have to keep three and get rid of three. Go watch that video if you haven't seen it. That was an awesome uh, challenge from my buddy Wartrain. Uh, so this one is gonna be the top five things that I think are the most sentimental in my collection. So. Stick with me while we shed a tear and remember some good old memories. Let's do it. Number one. This is, this is a given. This guy's a given. Uh, but this is the first game that I got from my Nintendo 64 and opened that sucker up on Christmas Day. Super Mario 64. Here we go! This one still has my name written on it in pencil. I'm gonna have to get a, like a really good shot of that. Hold on. It's here somewhere. You can see it. You can see me right up there in the top. Right in the top, little Andy. And the reason why this means so much to me is I still have my original save back when I was a little kid. My 120 star completion of Super Mario 64 is on this cartridge and apparently I did it again. So I did one save file for 120 stars and another save file for another 120 stars and now I'm working on my third and I'm at 42 stars now and that is thanks to Retro Rick because on his Instagram recently he was playing Super Mario 64 and I got all those nostalgia giggles back and I had to jump on it and play it again. So shout out to you my friend. I will never get rid of this in the collection and it means a lot to me. So there's that answer. Number two, this is a really cool item that's in my collection. This is a complete inbox green edition Halo. Uh, this was a buddy of mine, he was getting out of gaming. This is the one he got as a kid uh, and he actually gifted it to my collection which is one of the coolest things for your friends to appreciate your hobby and hook you up with some video games. Uh, this is an amazing Xbox. It's in rad condition uh, and is literally one of the coolest things I could have ever gotten for the collection. Uh, so thank you very much, my friend. This is a very, very cool item to have in the collection. One that will not leave it. So sentimentals all the time. Number three. I'm gonna keep going down on this train, okay? So. Whoa, I almost dropped these bad boys. So I've never been, oh God, I just can't. I just can't get these. Oh God, all right. Well, they were worth something, not anymore. These are uh, pop figures from Street Fighter. Uh, my friend knew that I wanted them and for uh, a gift, she hooked me up with these pop figures and she even ordered them from online. So I uh, got myself a, a Chun-Li here and then Cammy, which if you guys didn't know, I named my daughter after Cammy. That's how nerdy of a gamer I am. Uh, and she doesn't know it yet, but one day she's gonna own it. Uh, then <laughs> you've got Blanca, <sighs> my boys. You can't have Street Fighter without Rio, Rio, without Rio, and Ken, Ken Masters. Yep, that's right. Right. I always called him Ryu as a kid, and now I know it's pronounced Ryu, and it's really hard for me to go back. So, 
for those out there that are judging me, it's Ryu. And uh, for those that don't care, Ryu and Ken, right here. Uh, Ken's always been my man. Uh, I'm not a pop collector. I'm not a pop figure collector at all. But there are some that I just have to have in the collection and the Street Fighter collection was great. I actually have two more that I left on the shelf. It's Balrog and Dan. And I have no idea why they chose them. I would much rather have Sagat and Vega than Balrog and Dan. Come on. Come on, Pop. Funko, get some licensing for the good stuff. I miss those guys. Hook us up. Next one that gives me the feels is my Dreamcast. Now this is actually not my Dreamcast. What is in my hand is my buddy's childhood Dreamcast and a slew of games that he also had that he gifted me for my birthday. And I legitimately teared up. Like legitimately this Dreamcast uh, gift, I knew how much it meant to him and I knew that that gift and the passing of the torch, knowing that it would be safe, meant the world. So for you, my friend, I love you and I love this Dreamcast and I will always cherish it and I will always make sure that I keep it in the bestest of conditions. Such a cool console. So I was gonna do a top five, but you guys all know me. I've gotta go a little bit more. So this is an honorable mention, but another thing that I love in my collection uh, because it gives me that nostalgia is my original Tips and Tricks magazines. I collected the crap out of these and I lost a lot of them, but these are the ones I was able to salvage. So I have Tips and Tricks with Spider-Man on it. This is a really cool magazine uh, back in the day. It really it did, it gave you uh, tips and tricks for things like PlayStation games and uh, it's, uh, Game Boy Color, Sega, what else was around here at the time, Saturn. And then in the back of the book, it gave you all these cheat codes. Look at this sweet stuff. Look at these sweet cheat codes. You don't get that stuff anymore. And we've got Resident Evil Code Veronica. That's on there. So this was a very busy one. This is Siphon Filter, Choo Choo Rocket, Pokemon Stadium. Man, these were awesome. These books were rad. The fact that I still have them. I always remember this because you could tell that they photoshopped this, uh, his gun away from his hand from the front cover of the movie. and put a PlayStation controller in it, and I thought it was really cool. Now when I see it, I can totally see the editing, because I got skills. Skills. And then you've got Busta Groove, one of my favorite games on the PlayStation 2, and you've got Tomb Raider scratching on there. What the, what the, what the? And Resident Evil 2. These, my God, these Tips and Tricks magazines were like my go-to as a kid. This is exactly what I used. Uh, I jumped on the internet when I needed to, but this is how I got through a lot of my games. Tips and tricks, I miss you. R.I.P. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, this wasn't in an order, but I would say that this is my number one and it's a funny one to not want to get rid of in the collection, but that would be my Wii. I Will, this is my original Wii, and the reason why it means a lot is because it's the first console that me and my wife bought together. Uh, we thought the Wii was such a cool invention using all the motion controls. We thought it was absolutely fantastic. And I have always remembered uh, us picking this console up, and it felt like it was a big milestone in our relationship to purchase something together. And what we purchased, it wasn't furniture, no. It was a Wii. We <laughs> got the original Wii out here too. Still in good condition. Uh, love it. Love it. So a Wii. Out of everything. It's a Wii that I wouldn't get rid of. Don't touch my Wii. I've got to give a thank you to Riff for throwing a little challenge out there. Getting everybody talking and going. If you guys haven't followed the Pixel Game Squad or sub to their channel, uh, these guys are awesome. They keep the retro community uh, afloat right now in this crazy time. Uh, they have just been busting stuff out for content. So go over there and check them out. Um, if, uh, if you guys get a chance and you want to also do kind of the top things in your collection that give you sentimental value or things that you'll just never get rid of, do it. 
I want to see them. I want to know. Write them down in the comments. If you don't want to make a video, let me know what your guys' top five things you will never get rid of in your collections are. And I don't care. It doesn't have to be video games. It could be movie collection or toy collection or collection collection of whatever. Like maybe you collect other people's bills, you know, collector's collections. That Guys, if you like my stupid content and you like what I got going on, hit the sub for me. Uh, jump me up there. We are on our way to a thousand subs. I would really love your guys' support. Also, you can check us out on the Real Awkward Podcast if you guys want to get a little bit nerdy with us uh, on our podcast. You can find that on YouTube as well. Other than that, my friends, I will see you manana.